What don't you find attractive that society says you should? So are we just gonna ignore your username? His message is up here. Apostrophe. Your lips say no, but your eyes say red my lips. Based on what I've seen in Miami, lip injections, apparently, looks horrendous. And yes, we can tell. It's a thing in the UK as well. Fake tan. Fake teeth fake lips. Looks awful. The Magaluf style choice. Shagluff. Brand culture. People spend way too much in the name of brands. I love finding brands that don't have a logo on their shirts. Yep. If you're not paying me to advertise, I prefer to keep it plain. This seems so uncommon, but I think exactly this way. Unless I'm an employee I shouldn't be be wearing a great big shirt with the company's name in bold on it. There are a couple large companies I don't mind advertising for. I have a Fender shirt I quite like. But for the most part one feel the same way. Every time I've bought a car. The first thing I do when I get home is yank off the dealership's license plate holder. Or whatever branding they've plastered onto the back. If they want me to give free advertising to their company, they can damn well send me a check every month to do so. I don't like the look or feel of injected lips I just recently kissed a girl with them and it felt like I was kissing jello. Till. I didn't know I wanted to know how it feels to kiss injected lips. Apparently I did. Thanks for that lol. Same. Also now wondering how that feels. Ah. Uh, elsewhere. They can't grip well so think of a loose handy from a thick rubber gloved hand. That's a sentence I didn't expect to read today. Artificial tanning. As someone who works at a tanning salon. Yes. It's very easy for people to overdo it. That's why I normally don't recommend anything with a high intensity bronzer. We wanna make you look sun kissed. Not sun fucked. Fucking killed me lol. Super white. Super fake veneers teeth. Steve-o has them. And I'm pretty sure he hates them. I remember him saying one of his only regrets is not flossing. I'm serious. Flossing changed my life. Floss your teeth you'll you will see and feel a difference immediately. Damn right. I used to get these gum inflammations regularly. And since I started flossing every day about 15 years ago I get one maybe once a year. The obsession of famous people. Sure I enjoy art and athleticism in most forms. But to be obsessed over someone who isn't even physically in your life is wild to me. The idol culture in Asia is crazy. My mom is obsessed with two idols in China. One of them is same age as me and she used to constantly compare me to him. Saying how I don't make as much money as him. She also claims they are both as perfect as the media PR them which makes me so sick. Pick an idol her age and complain how your mom isn't as rich as the idol. Fashion items with the design logo this big all over it. Cringe. If the logo is dominant. You're buying an expensive thing for poor people. Poor people cosplaying rich people is a multi-billion dollar industry. Supreme. Lightaki. Lip and cheek fillers. Please stop making us think we need these things. Especially really young people whose thin lips suit their face perfectly. And those huger. But fillers where it looks like you have 100 pounds of potatoes tied to your waist. Looks like a full diaper. Thank you oops I crapped my pants. I'm wearing them right now. And I just did. A cocky attitude. I'd rather a genuine person who's awkward any day. At least you know they're trying to communicate. Rather than show off. As someone who's more socially awkward than a potato. This makes me feel better. Potatoes are not socially awkward. Have you ever heard a potato stuttering? I'm jot totally sure. What's a potato? P.O.T.A.T.O.S. Boil them. Smash them. Stick them in a stew. Fame. F that noise. I always want to say to people who want to be rich and famous. Try being rich first. See if that doesn't cover most of it. Bill Murray. Jawline so sharp that they make their heads look like a yassified Minecraft Steve. Nancy Wheeler would like a word. Timothy Chalamet as well. They're the same person dude. I like the part in Stranger Things, where they go into the desert and Nancy becomes some kind of native insurgent messiah. Also sandworms are a cool throwback to Beetlejuice. Hash ATS horror aesthetic. Being super tan with platinum hair edit, I will add. There are people that have naturally light hair and tan naturally. This looks so different, but when it is natural. But so bad, when it is not. I'm sorry if I made anyone feel self-conscious about how they look naturally. 
Looking like a root beer float. Or an old leather couch from the 70s. Looking like a palomino horse. Eyelash extensions are getting terrifying. I've had them set off my fear of spiders. I like the ones that are so big they weigh the eyelid down. And they constantly look like they are trying to blink something out of their eye. I can barely keep my eyes open sleepy. No. Like those dolls whose eyelids close when you lay them back. Then you wake up to it with one eye open. The hustle lifestyle. I don't want to have a side gig and work 16 hours a day. I'm content with coming home and playing video games in my free time and sleeping in on my weekends. From about ages 18, right out of high school, to about 23 I felt kinda like I had no idea what to do. Felt like I had no real purpose or direction to go in life. So I just figured I'd work as much as I could as hard as possible, and I'd have to get somewhere. And when my body and mental health started tanking, after working 14 to 18 hour a day 6 to 7 days a week for about 6 to 8 months, was working 2 jobs laboring for a brick mason during the day and part time at a warehouse at night, I took it personal, like I was fresh out of school and everybody kept telling me. How when they were my age they worked 28 hours a day and never got tired I shouldn't be tired because I'm young. So I figured I was just a lazy screw up failure who would never go anywhere in life. I'm 25 now and after a few exhaustion slash mental health breakdowns that put me in a psych ward I now work about 40 hours a week at the most and make more than I did working 60 to 70 hours before I just had to be willing to quit one path and try another. Instead of refusing to quit that path because quitting makes me weak long story short. Work hard. Working hard has got me great places. Don't work so many hours you go insane. No boo no. Can I ask? As a lazy screw up in early 20s. What was the path you chose? On Reddit and talks about how he earns more working 40 hours a week than he did 60 to 70 guessing it. It or possibly it. Being busy. Being busy sucks. There's a sweat spot, having enough to do to be occupied, but not so much that you are overwhelmed. Being able to sit down and watch that new season of the Peaky Blinders, but also knowing that tomorrow morning you have things to get done, and the, again tomorrow afternoon, that you'll have time to sit down and watch the next episode, because all things, perfectly balanced. Huge, injected lips, so gross. You don't fantasize about kissing a swollen baboon's ass. Weird. You bout to make me act up. Homogeneity when you're so on trend. That you blend into everyone else eats all trendy for a reason I guess. But for the Luva god. Please have something else going on. I actually aspire to blend in. I like that nobody will remember looking at me. I spent the 90s as a teen wearing crazy get ups. Is chewing mainstream looks and got tons of stares and enjoyed serving up the unexpected I weird. I then went to art college where weird was the trend and it kinda got old. Now I'm more secure in my adult identity. I just want to blend in and get on with it. I love the idea of being so unremarkable I blend in. Where that exact thing would have seemed like the worst possible result in my younger years. Walking around with main character energy makes me feel like I'm gonna die young mayo. Extremely long and or pointed fake nails. They instantly make hands look like bird feet. Ah and then there's the sanitary issue of where fingers go and what germs get stuck under those. As a pianist with ultra short nails, I get the instinctive desire to forcefully trim it all down. Fender Rakaustisonic Sonic guitars. Neither generation either. They are trash and they sound like trash too. The newest version looks worse than the old ones though. They look like toys now. Expensive things. Designer handbags. Most of the PPL with them are dead to their eyeballs. OMG. A girlfriend bought me a Guxy purse as an early birthday present. I asked her to tell me more about the purchase because it made me extremely uncomfortable. And she had signed up to make payments on this thing. I convinced her to return it. I've never owned something like that. And I'm sure as hell not starting now. Gift or no. I'm a semstress. WTF do I need a designer handbag for? I don't know how this is appealing to people. It made me so uncomfortable for so many reasons. The fact that she thought I'd want this thing made me realize she didn't understand me at all. When actors have to use steroids and dangerously dehydrate themselves to get the perfect Hollywood body with really defined muscles. No thanks. 
I don't find anything attractive that forces people to take such risks with their health. I'm having flashback to Beyond doing the master cleanse to lose weight for dream girls. The diet is meant for 3 to 10 days while being monitored, but people took it to extremes. For those unfamiliar, day 1 veggies and whole grains. Day 2, broth and real fruit juices. Day 3, orange juice. After that you only drink fresh squeezed lemon juice with cayenne pepper and maple syrup. You're instructed to drink the mixture whenever you feel hungry. You cleanse by drinking a salt water flush, warm water with a ton of salt. The salt water flush literally makes you violently s out anything in your system. That's almost the same instructions for my upcoming colonoscopy. Typing this from hospital room. Had colonoscopy and endoscope that revealed massive bleeding ulcer. Was admitted to the air directly afterward and will be here for a few days. The SS you get though during prep is unlike anything you've experienced before. Your butthole turns into a rest faucet for hours on end. I had one around 10 years ago. I got to drink gar lightly. It was not lightly at all. But now I have to drink a rest ton of Miralax and take a bunch of laxatives before and have basically the world's estized diet the week before. Accuracy above them who. Fake eyebrows? It's not attractive at all, especially when they are really noticeably drawn on and look absolutely absurd. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Bodybuilders. I have nothing wrong with people working out and wanting to be in shape. I just personally think it just starts to look ridiculous after a while. Tell me about it man. I see these dudes with biceps bigger than my torso and I wonder if it actually gets in the way of them doing normal everyday things. It absolutely does. My sister dated a guy who took steroids. We went out wakeboarding at the cottage and he wasn't able to put his hands close enough together in front of him to hold the tow rope, so he had to hold on one handed. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. We never let him live it down. What? He cold and touch his hands together. Extremely loud cars slash motorcycles. Can you add lifted trucks to that list? That never drove anything bigger than a curb or small hill. Like why the hell do these elven exist in a place like Kansas or Indiana? LDS. Alpha males. Alpha males. Those I'm a wolf in captivity guys always remind me of slash r slash bad taxidermy and moon moon. The Kardashians. I agree. I feel like I dislike just about everything about them and all the people that luck slash act slash live like them. Having a big house. No. I don't need more to clean. I'm happy with anything under 2. 0, 0, 0 square feet. I'd even live in a damn bungalow. But I have kids and sometimes I need to hide. I just love little cozy houses with character. To be fair 2000 square feet is pretty big for a home here in the UK. But our homes are pretty small. For comparison I'm still in my first house. It's a fairly standard 3 bedroom semi detached. And is about 800 square feet across across both floors. Thinking the same thing. There are detached 1700 square feet homes near me that are pretty unobtainable for the average family. Anything over 2000 square feet in the UK is huge. Long beard's not into it. I don't want to kiss fluff. Nor do I want to guess what you are harvesting it in. TBH I have a short beard, but for the life of me can't stand shaving. I have the most sensitive skin on my face, and no matter which cream butter or prescription shaving stuff i tried i always break out because of it so beard it is same dude there is nothing in the world i can do to stop my skin from getting red and irritated if i shave within two days of my last one and not a cream in the world will ease it which means an itchy painful neck slash face all day not to mention being unsightly and covered in red blotches slash hives my options are to basically live with a constant scruff that just looks like I'm sloppy, or grow a beard, and keep the excess hair outside of my style trimmed down with a clipper, or shaved clean, if I really need to impress every once in a while, when it's a matter of literally suffering, and making myself look, like I'm having an allergic reaction, constantly looking like I'm some lazy f who just doesn't shave, or having a beard, I choose the beard and anybody who doesn't like it can not like it, this is me, but add a day on the length, Last time I tried clean shaven for a social function I could have been stung by a million bees and looked better. Very, very tall men with huge muscles. This is not to say that they look bad to me. 
but they aren't attractive to me because I'm very small and petite and don't want to feel like a toddler compared to them. Shout out to all the short kings. Maybe the average height guys too. No need to feel short for not being 6 feet and over. I think the only way to enjoy this post is to sort by controversial edit. When I made this comment the transphobic and racist dancers hadn't all sunk to the bottom yet. Sorry y'all. I misread the title as what do you find attractive that society says you shouldn't and it was more fun. Like people confessing that they are actually really into unnatural white veneers and fillers etc. Expensive cars. I rather spend my money on other things and just have a reliable car. Spending money on cars should be something people who genuinely enjoy cars as a hobby should do. Mercedes. BMW. And Audi all make awesome cars, but the concept of buying one to flex ruins the image of all three for me. BMWs and Mercedes are cool cars, until you see the repair costs. Lexus is a good middle ground. Toyota really ability and still luxurious. I love my Lexus. It's basically a Prius with a Lexus shell. Reliable. Great gas mileage, and it was only 20k used. Perfectly manicured yards. Long fingernails, most fake tits. Tasteful, not cartoonishly large breast implants, are more common than you think. You just don't notice them, because they're done well. Yay I just learned my 64y slash o step mom has breast implants, and she's barely a b-cup. I never in a thousand years would have known. She says she was flat as a board before, and just wanted a nice perky b-cup lol. I'm very into the idea of getting little implants for this reason. I don't want tits. Just boobies. Fake asses. Okay. This is ridiculous. I read 20 comments and I hadn't realized society is impressed with anything listed. This is Reddit. You state the obvious for upvotes. Comprehension nor unique thoughts not required. Yep I ventured back to this subreddit last week and this thread is filled with the same answers from similar threads from yesterday. Day before that. Etc. Just too predictable lol. Having a social media presence outside of your friends and family, I get that it can be a legitimate source of income for some. But the thought of my partner documenting their daily life for a bunch of fake internet likes is repulsive. Prioritizing physical desire above most other things. When a woman is dumb. Not sure why society has deemed this an attractive tray. I definitely find smart woman more attractive. I've never understood the whole guys don't like smart woman thing. I don't think many men believe a dumb woman is sexy, but many men think it's preferable especially men who really need to be smarter than their partners. Specific body types. While aesthetics can be important, I'm more attracted to personalities and find many things attractive about all different shapes and sizes. When girls put their finger in their mouth and make these random faces. Perfectly white teeth natural teeth are not supposed to be paper white. If they are they have almost always been bleached with chemicals and that is not healthy nor attractive to me, but it's permanently damaging your teeth if you do it too much. Alpha males boss bitches. Small plate restaurants that charge you $30 for a boiled egg with a drop of sauce and a decorative sprig. Big tits. Coming from someone who has them. I personally find smaller tits or even flat chests much more appealing. TV slash magazines might make them seem like they're these glamorous balls of wonder but no one acknowledges how awkward they are to look at I real especially when doing sports, like soccer which I do, or even everyday tasks. Not to mention everyone is always commenting on them, whether it's sexual or not. My own mother makes jokes on the daily, which gets a bit humiliating honestly. Never understood why my friends envy me for them. Thinking about getting reduction surgery someday. I'd comment my usual, but now it seems insensitive. Haha. <laughs> well whatever you decide in the future I wish you the best. I first thought you were referring to her deciding on Mingyu. But then realized what you were referring to. I'm an idiot. Newborn babies. They are not cute. Give them a few months to shape themselves. Humans. Yeah man. Mischievous forest spirits are where it's at. Field day. Celebrities working. I think it looks fucking ridiculous. Funniest thing I ever saw was non-sexual twerking at a clothing optional weekend. Guys, it's literally simulating fucking and you think you can be non-sexual. 
18 year olds. I get they are legal age, but seriously if you are in your 30s or 40s or higher than date someone over the age 25 or 26 after the person's brain fully develops and they've had some time to grow into adulthood. I'm going to be 31 soon, and the lowest I'd go is 25. I'm 25 and I wound never date someone who is younger than 20. Titties is judged by size. I think the right size for titties to be is the size they are. Small titties are wonderful. Large titties are wonderful. And all sizes in between. Wonderful. Acrylic nails will always horrify my pee. Try being a lesbian. I'm not even a lesbian. And I clamp my legs anyway. Twerking. 46 year old straight married man in the UK here. It's not so much what I don't find attractive. Rather it's what I do find attractive that society, tacitly, says I shouldn't namely women of my own age. I'm bombarded daily with advertising showing people in their 20s, being carefree and shiny what really works for me is women who have lived a bit, kids, grey hairs, wrinkles, experience, solid self-confidence, my wife, for example. Love it. I have that too. I find natural mature women much more attractive. Tans. People born with tan skin, sweating nervously. There's a Grand Canyon sized difference between Sofia Vergara's tan skin and Donald Trump's tan skin. Reckon people with natural tan skin are ahead in the game. Highly contouring and heavy macube. Also those painted eyebrows. Lip counter. Too much is too much. Macho manliness. Give me a dude who can talk about his feelings and whose voice goes up an octave when he sees a baby or a small animal any day. Yes. Also cat dads have a very special place in my heart. I can't even begin to explain how attractive it is to see a man absolutely in love with his cat. I hate lip fillers. Super jacked muscular dudes. Overusage of macube only a little bit is fine but further than that it starts looking pretty unattractive. Super white teeth. And veneers if your teeth are otherwise healthy. High heels. I can't get past thinking how bad that must be for walking for them to do anything positive. As someone who had bunion surgery literally this morning. Skip the heels. Bigger big boobs big lips you just kinda start looking stupid after a while like a character I made in a video game for fun to see how bad it can get. Immo. They are more like human brats dolls 